Hello, welcome to art class, and today we're going to learn again about secondary colors. I hope you guys remember what the three secondary colors are. I'm going to point to them and you tell me what the three secondary colors are. First one is, second one is, and the third one is, Okay, the three secondary colors are orange, green, and purple. And I wonder if anybody remembers how we mix our primary colors to make our secondary colors. If you do not remember, we are going to review it today. And at the end of class, I'm going to ask you how you make your secondary colors from your primary colors. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to review orange. To make orange, I will mix yellow and red. To make green, I will mix yellow and blue. To make purple, I will mix red and blue. Okay, so here's our secondary colors. Today we are going to use some watercolor and some crayons and we are going to make a picture of a rooster with secondary colors on it. So today you're going to need your piece of paper and it will be the vertical way today. You will need one crayon. It can be a black crayon like this one or it can be a dark color crayon of any color. You will need your water and your brush, your paintbrush, and you will need some watercolors. Okay, my set looks a little different from yours. This is my set that I use at home. All right, let's get started with our crayon. And the first thing that you will need to do is to write your name. After that, turn your paper over to the blank side. Now we're going to begin drawing our rooster with our crayon. First, I'm going to point to the middle. Then I'm going to draw a diagonal line coming up. a curved line. This is the head of the rooster. And my rooster needs a beak. I will use an angled line. It needs an eye. I will use a circle with another circle inside that I'll fill in to make a dot. Okay, next on the top of a rooster's head, it has something called a coxcomb. And for that, we will use several curved lines, like upside down U's. Okay, for the next part, I'm going to draw the tail, and the tail of the rooster is big. So here from the back, I'm drawing a big curved line, and I make it come down with a little curve on the end. Okay, that's one big tail feather. Now I'm going to draw two more tail feathers right next to it. I'm going to start right here again. Curve. Come down and touch your other line. Curve on the end. 
Okay, and one more. I'm going to start here again. Curve. Come down and touch. Okay, and this time for the third tail feather, after I make my small curve, I'm going to come back up and connect it. Okay, now I've got my head, my tail, and it needs a wing. For the wing, I am going to start right here and make a big curve that comes around and touches the tail. So here, curve line like a backward C. Then come over and touch the tail. Okay. Next, my wing needs a couple of feathers, so I'm going to add a couple of straight lines. One, two. The next part will be the front of my rooster. Start here where the head ends. This is where my neck is, and come around the front of the wing. down underneath to make the belly and then from here I'm going to change directions and make a diagonal line that comes up to touch the wing. Now I'm just missing the legs of my rooster. Two vertical lines down And the toes, angled line, angled line, angled line. Okay, the second leg, two vertical lines down. Angled line, angled line, and one more little angled line right here. All right, now that I have my rooster, if I want to add something to the background, I can go ahead and add it. For example, if you want to add the ground, if you want to add something back here like a tree or a chicken or a little chick, you can do that. I'm going to add a couple of things and then we're going to get started with our painting. I added a few pieces of dirt and rocks on the ground. Now I'm going to add a sun up in the sky of mine. 